Well, Let's Go goes number seven on the main chart. It's got 170 million streams right now. Damn. Yep. Uh, and then off that same album, The Sugar, uh, Give Me Some single featuring CeeLo again. Right. And Ludacris. That goes 20 on Billboard. Goes gold, 35 million streams. So this is just a monster album. You're you're in a whole different space now after this album. After a whole string of building up, building up. I knew building I, was, up. I knew I knew something was going on because I I had a show in Sioux City, Iowa, and then the next day I was in Rapid City, Des Moines. I was like, "Where the fuck am I?" I thought I was out the country. They were like, "You never left the country." I said, "Yes, I did. I went to Sioux City, Iowa." They were like, "Nah, nigga, that's in the United States." I what the fuck was I doing there? I've been to towns when there was three black people in the audience, mm. and then I tried to do. The crossover song, and they was like, do that nigga. I'm like, oh shit, okay, no problem. <laughs> hey, you got an Ozzy Osbourne record, you know. I mean, you're 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 surpassing hip hop at that point. You're you're now a pop artist. A lot, a lot of things at this time, a lot of things with music has changed. And then let me tell you one thing I didn't do for that. I never let Slip and Slide or Atlantic Records use my budget for a million dollar fucking video because that was real popular back then. Mm. I never had a Hype Williams video. You didn't need it. I, I didn't want that shit. I wanted, oh, I'm a thug. I'm, I'm, I'm eating chicken wing and throwing bones. I'm pissing in the, I'm pissing in the bitch grass. Like, I'm driving in my, and every time you see me in the car, that was my car, mm. uh, my friend's cars. It wasn't that, we wasn't spending no budget on no dumb shit. Well, that next album, Back by Thug Demand, number 48 on Billboard. So after having this monster album, this album was quite a bit lower. I, I, I believe what, what I, this is where I'm okay. At this time, I know what happened. At this time, Atlantic Records and Ted is few in now. I've, I'm learning, so I'm requesting, I'm asking for more. Mm -hmm. Ted, they, they're putting this in my head. He telling them stop interfering with my artists. And then I did the song, Tuck That Ice In. Mm -hmm. All the rap niggas was getting nervous that I, that I was exposing them that, for wearing all this fake ass jewelry. <laughs> At that time, I'm to the point where, man, fuck that. I'm gonna stop my own label. It's time. I think I done, I think I done, you know what I'm saying? Wrote this, this career done wrote this course. And Ryan, I did one more album after that. Yeah. With, uh, with my brother, which I should have never did. A finally famous, born a thug, still a thug. Because you, you you had left uh, Atlantic and Slip and Slide right, after and that, that last album. So then the next album comes out independently, you know. My, with my brother, bad idea. Yeah, 13,000 uh, copies sold, you know, the first week. It was 34 on Billboard, which isn't bad, but right. not like what you were doing not, a couple not, years it, before. It is, at this time, it, everything is different now. Everybody's trying not to spin. Everybody's trying not to promote. The labels want you to. Promote it yourself or get you a MySpace. And get, I'm like, MySpace? I never had a MySpace. I don't know what the fuck a MySpace is. <laughs> was, MySpace? What's the name? My, MySpace. I don't know what that is. They want me to do that. No, I can't go on MySpace. I might be snorting cocaine. I might be playing with a fucking gun. I'm going to go to jail. I'm going to go. On. You need to, we need you to, you need to take a cameraman around. Cameraman can't follow me around. I hang with real niggas that's on the run. I hang with, I hang with real smackers. No, I can't do that. <laughs> The next thing I do is bring out the Dunk Riders. Yeah. Sign them through Baby and Universal. Mm. Baby ain't want to do nothing with them. I went and pulled up on them one day and was like, here you go. He was like, what's that? I said, that's a release. He said, a release? I gave you 400 something thousand. I said, I don't give a fuck. I need you to sign this paper. I need my, my group back. I got them out of the contract. My brother went to, my little brother had already went to the feds. So it was just fell and iceberg. I agree with my brother Chuck. Let's let them go and see if they can start them a career on their own. Let's not hold them back. I signed Berg release. Chuck made Berg pay him. I, I, I got love for Berg. He's like my little brother. He's like, he's like my little brother forever. And I know he's a young dude. He's hard-headed. I mean, he said certain things at times, but I don't see that. It wasn't, ain't going to never, nothing no ever change. I'm a man first. Uh, I have more shame than I have pride. It would have been a shame had I been a part of holding him back. I never did no shit like that. After all that is said and done, I never tried to, all this come to me, man, what did you do this? I do features, I do shows, but I, 
I'm dealing with that. I'm dealing with the lupus. I'm dealing, I don't want to take pictures, no, none of this shit. So when the first wave with Instagram come out, I don't catch Instagram. I'm like, man, fuck Instagram. But I woke up one day. I woke up one day in the bed and I couldn't hardly move. And I said, ain't no way. Lupus finna get me down. I said, I'm getting up every fucking day and I'm gonna do something. I started taking pictures. I got me an Instagram. I got me a Twitter. I got a Facebook. And for you know what, I'm, I'm, now I'm on Facebook. I'm cooking. I'm talking shit. for well, my homegirls, like, let's get a restaurant. Okay, well, this that's simple lot. And now we here. Some of the most down and points of my, some of the most disrespectful moments of my career was BET calling me to ask me would I present somebody with an award. I never got nominated on BET ever in my life. <laughs> with all this shit popping. I never got, I've been on every show, did everything they asked me to do, never got nominated on BET ever in my life. And they wanted me to honor Trina. A Lifetime Achievement Award. Well, you never got one. But I love the fact that it was Trina. Yeah. Because I did get mine. Yeah. You feel me? So I did get mine. But but it just it, it, it goes to show, like, back to the Cat Williams shit, I'm not mad at BET for doing that. I was hurt by it, and it made me realize that it wasn't for bad luck, you wouldn't have none. In order to feel good, you have to feel bad. You don't know what feeling good is until you feel bad. That's why I don't take a lot of pain medicine, because I want I want to know when I'm not feeling right. 